What's going on guys? Night Rainbow here with another reaction video. And I'm taking a look at the uh, newest episode in uh, the Mare series. Uh, this is episode 3, part 1, uh, One Art Cookie. Um, I actually forgot, completely forgot about this series. It's been quite a while since we got a, uh, since episode 2 came out. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to getting back into this and seeing what happens with them uh because i remember uh i had to go back and rewatch it because i didn't remember too much uh there wasn't really a whole lot that happened with episode two other than uh the main character having her suit get burned so she had to put on the uh the little hoodie with the bunny ears which i know is what sourcey i think it's kind of sourcey's mascot or oc or whatever so we finally got uh, that in there, and we're going to see what happens with that. So let's go ahead and get started and see what happens. Oh, shit. Hi, Derpy. <laughs> Front center. Yep, it's all clear. Oh, hi. <laughs> of course, right? At the same time, if you're gonna, you know, fly, why not just fly a little higher? So you don't have to worry about that. Flim flick, that was it. Oh, I'm a future guitar hero. Sweet. <laughs> she is, uh... We should be there in about three minutes. She is not enjoying that. It's fairly empty out on the road this evening. We should be ahead of schedule. Good, because I don't like being out here on this thing. It's too fast. Oh, don't worry. Not only did I fill everything in my lap, but I also built this fine piece of transportation. I assure you, no harm will come. Um. What was that? A bird? Well, one has to take variance into their calculations. It's a good thing I had auto stability sensors in place. What? I think something should auto stabilize your attention to the road next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I need to pay attention to the road, will you pick that up? How do I do that? Just pick it up. Press the green button to answer. Forgive me. <laughs> wow. Hello? What in the world? And never mind. Who's trying to contact us? Ruby Brush, apparently. Oh. Wow, you're so lucky that didn't drop. My God. <laughs> Already. You guys said you would be here for on the dot. Tell her we ran into a few traffic jams. But I'm sure we violate a few traffic laws. That <laughs> you're right. We almost committed vehicular pony slaughter. How did you even know any of this? I'm not as <laughs> dumb as you think I am. <laughs> okay. Just tell her that we're almost there. I've heard enough. Just be here in one piece. Alright, guys? Right. Got it. Sorry for all of that. I'm not used to this new stuff. Hey, don't take it so personally. Things like this happen between friends. Although, you were right in me not to pay much attention. I don't go out myself. Well, at least we're still alive, right? I think Barely. you like to see me at my best. I may be a great adventure, but have you seen my driving skills? Um, yeah, she just... <laughs> she was riding with you. 
I'm sure she saw it first. Hey. Okay, you two. This is a nightmare. I can't think of a single thing to paint. That's why I brought Flick after all. Flick is the most creative pony I know. Wait, I may take pictures and videos, but nothing for this level of art. I thought you said she could help. This is no time to play games. Well, I assure you she's talented and she's determined. Look, don't get mad at her. You do like you need help, and having us is better than nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. You're right. I shouldn't be so bothered to you two. This is a very pressing issue, and I need a way to get my work done. I almost forgot. Flick, your camera. We can use it to help Ruby. No. It's too old, and the quality of the pictures wouldn't be good enough. I'm sorry to say, but Ruby is right. I can't help. But that's where you're wrong. You know how I said I was going to fix your camera? Well, I improved the picture quality using laser scanning technology. It literally scans pictures that you want, photons by photons. <laughs> that technology talks for light rays. But how would you do that? Photon stuff with my camera? Won't it be too heavy or maybe too bright or something, something scientific-y? <laughs> I took an onto account the negative impacts towards the camera or the people that are being pictured. Don't worry, it's completely harmless. Like those auto stabilizers? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of you two. We have a job to do, and you two are my only way of making any progress. Flick, since you seem to have experience with a camera, I'll need to see if you can travel to a few destinations I had in mind. Which you'll not be taking her to. I'll still need to come along, though. These modifications will need to be talked to Flick. As much as I'd hate to admit it, I do get assistance from my father from time to time. He'll provide us a carriage to get to these places. Now, I don't plan to call him just yet. I still need to tell you what we're doing so we can prepare to move out in the next few moments. Alright. Now, I only ask you to take these pictures for me simply for the fact that ponies have more imagination than any other creature. Your heart will tell you what is good, what is bad. That's why I created this map, after all. These circles show where I want these pictures, and these lines show the angle of which I want the focus to be. But feel free to put your own flair in the shot. This is known as Grotte Machande, where spices are sold and handmade masks as well. One of my favorite little-known locations. It inspires homeliness in me, as it will for other ponies. This is known as The Path is Short, its name alone should tell you all of what I intend for this picture to be. The path is short? I can't really understand why it's called that. Unless it's because of the door. <sighs> Art is something else to some pony else in a different state of mind. That is, the name is just a name. The message I want this picture to portray is something open to interpretation. Right. There's only one more spot that I can see. Why don't we know specifically what you want? Art is art, but when you want me to take pictures of real things, I need real information. No offense. Well, if you want me to explain it in terms you understand, this spot has a lighthouse that reminds me of my father. He is strong, stands tall, and is a beacon. Not only for me, but for my family and his business. He's very important to me, and I want to show the world this fact. You want something to impress him. I'll do my best. I'll assure you for that one. Oh. And as much as I don't want to prove myself to him, I still want to show him what he means to me. Hey, look, don't lose it. If this means a lot to you, then I will do my best to make sure it's done well and done right. Alarm, what the fuck? My father, time is 
running out. That, was, that makes me think of the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. It's gotta be a very boring job, just staying there waiting for someone to show up. Wait, what about you? Won't you come with us? This is too much for me to handle today. What you said, Flick, really made me think of something. I can't I put my hoof on it. Honestly, I don't know what to make of this way, but I can only hope I didn't offend you. No, nothing like that. Interesting sounds like the news for that. Okay, um, sure, I'm, I'm not gonna question this. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get like a running start first before you're able to just pick up the carriage, but everything is so different on the ground. What kind of ponies do you think are all down there? I have no idea, honestly. I don't get out much to be honest with you. Well, for someone that has lived in Coldland all your life, you know how to get out, go around, and everything like that. It's kind of shocking that you don't know that much is out there. Well, it's not like there's much there to do anyway. We have reached our destination. Please arrive here in the same location before the sun reaches past two. Right. We have a job to do, and we must get it done swiftly as possible. All right, that worked. Uh, okay. cool. <laughs> well, this reminds me of a lot of home, actually. I guess Ruby was wrong after all. Well, I mean, not for me. I haven't lived in such a rundown place in my life. How does this remind you of home? Well, I wouldn't say I grew up in the fanciest of places, but the Bites. smells of dough and the fresh wind, feeling the cobblestone beneath Swap my shell. nose. It's very invigorating. Just with a lot of homeless ponies. Well, as much as I want you to enjoy this time, we have a job to do. Of course, I haven't forgotten that. March 2020. All right. I'm assuming we're going to be uh, going to those locations and taking the pictures and obviously some probably some trouble along the way. Prequel video, okay. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> yeah, go to bed. <clears throat> Alright. So we're back into this and we'll get another one in a couple months, hopefully. Uh, unless, you know, something comes up that push it to the back, which is likely to happen, but we at least have some sort of date to go off of. Kind of just like a nice little, uh, I guess, slice of life kind of thing. Nothing too crazy going on right now other than uh, just seeing what's going on with the uh, flick and uh, her buddy, what's her name? The... I really... You know, it's it's weird. It's like, I really like 
the uh, oh, what's a I'm trying to think of the words, um, like the way the camera cameras are set up and shot and um, the lighting used it makes it look really detailed uh, especially compared to a lot of other SFM animations I've seen it look, looks really legit kind of so the problem is that it also kind of I kind of expect it to look better uh, a whole lot better because of it but you have that uh, all, all that really nice looking stuff and then you kind of have the all right-ish kind of an, uh, animation, the way they move and the lip syncing, it's all kind of all right but you know, not the best I've seen but, you know, I really don't like uh, you know, saying the video's bad or anything because of that because I know from having trying to do source for filmmaker myself uh it is a pain in the ass to learn and to have to animate all that especially if you're by yourself eh? it's definitely very time consuming so you know it's at least nice that sourcey will you know at least takes the time to make the lighting and everything else look really good uh despite that and you know, it, it's like the animation can be all right, and you, you still get the point across. You know, uh, and also it, it makes some kind of really funny moments in it of itself too. Like just those uh, two Stallion Paul and Jerry just like going straight up and flying off. Like that's that's obviously not how that would work, but it's kind of it's really silly just to look at. I, I actually kind of enjoy little uh, bits like that. But yeah, other than that, uh, you know, not really too much to talk about with uh, that one. I'm glad to see this is back. Uh, I'm really ex looking forward to seeing uh, how this continues in March. Hopefully March. Really looking forward to uh, seeing more of this. I'm glad it's coming back. Like, like I said, I actually ended up forgetting that this was uh, a series. It's been so long since we saw the last one. So I'll be keeping an eye out for the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy.